Craig McMillan and Jerry Jones here at Management Recruiters of Tallahassee, Florida, MRT. And today's topic is the importance of interpersonal skills. The single biggest thing that we hear across the board, hands down, interpersonal skills. And that, that is a huge, huge topic on a big spectrum, and we could probably debate this one for hours and still not get it all covered. But two big areas that, that we see often and boy, you should hear some of the stories we have, and, and we could probably write a book on some of these, but, but inter, interpersonal skills are everything. The resume might read great, you might look great, you might have the best looking career path in the world, but if there's no interpersonal skills, it ain't happening, man. I don't care who you are, and, and I can't tell you how many times, I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard it, maybe, maybe two, but you know what, great person, great skill sets, can really do the job, and really help us, but man, just can't fit in culturally here. Just isn't gonna work. And that is so sad and so wrong. And I can't tell you how many times I get so frustrated when I hear that one, but it is so true in today's world, especially when we're working under as much pressure as we are today. This do more with less is a big thing and having internal skills is everything when we're talking about this. Absolutely. Guys, uh, emotional intelligence is one of those skills that uh, we as recruiters and uh, all of our hiring managers uh, look for. EQ, the emotional quotient, is just as important, maybe more important than intelligence quotient. I have a high IQ. Great. But is your EQ where it needs to be? Emotional quotient is the score of how you can get along with your teammates. You've got to have a high EQ. You, those that have high EQs go further in their careers. A lot of managers that we see uh, and interact with have high EQs. So I want you to study that, look at that, research EQ. There are ways to work on that. Uh, Craig, how do I become the best EQ person? You'll find ways out there. I encourage you to look at EQ. You can do that. You can even hire a coach if you wanted to uh, for a pretty good price and do it online with somebody. But also another big area, empathy. Empathy is probably one of the single most biggest things that you can do to really improve your emotional intelligence. Just because you have empathetic, you know, towards other people or hey, I understand where you're coming from or relate to what's happening. When you can do that, and you can understand the person across from you because you're listening and you're, you're really, really got into what's going on. And, you know, the dynamic will change for you. I just don't know how else to say it. I mean, just being empathetic to others and towards others for whatever reason and not being so hard and crass because we all heard the story, you know, so and so is fixing to retire with 30 years and he got laid off 29 and three quarters years beforehand and got rid of the <laughs> No. Being empathetic is everything, yeah. and and being an empathetic leader is probably one of the biggest things I look for in an individual. Because exactly. if they have empathy, that means they're grounded, they're humble, they're hungry, they're personable, the re organizational respond to them, and most most importantly, you know, they're building a company that people want to work with, not leave. I agree totally. Empathy, um, active listening. Emotional intelligence, as I talked about, is so, so vital. And there are others. Uh, you're going to see it uh, in this segment. Uh, I encourage you to, to research uh, each uh, item in this segment. Uh, and if you feel like you may be lacking in these areas, Jerry's right. Uh, coaching is certainly there. Um, we think empathetic employees uh, have the ability to understand the organization better uh, they can make better managerial uh, decisions, um, and it's so, so vital. We just can't, I mean, it, you're going to find a lot of information out there, uh, but take it from two uh, corporate uh, recruiters uh, that have been in this space for uh, over 30 years. The empathetic people uh, will win uh, at the end of the day. And how can you, uh, as an individual, uh, become better with your interpersonal skills, uh, Jerry said the coaching is there. Constructive criticism. Constructive criticism. Be afraid to ask, you know, hey, what can I do differently that I'm not doing today? I mean, when you ask for constructive criticism, ask for it. 
but you better be prepared to keep your lips shut and your ears open because if you want to defend what they're saying, then you've just lost the entire deal. Don't even do it. Don't even go down that road if you can't keep your pile shut. That's just all there is to it. Exactly. Great, great, great. Guys, we hope this helps. And don't forget, please, uh, to learn more about our service offering, go to mrrecruiter.com, mrrecruiter.com. You guys have a great one. See you.